Hey everybody, welcome back to Autovox Plays Dark Souls. Uh, next day recording, and you know what? We've got everything in line, and I'm ready to go. Let's get started. So in the last episode, we actually rang the first bell of awakening. Um, now we're back at Firelink Shrine. So, one of the things that I actually kind of want to do is, first things first... Is he not here? Huh, interesting. I thought I freed him. Maybe he'll come later. Anyway. Um, we want to do a bit of leveling up. Um, as I said before, I did want to go strength, like dex build. So I figured two points in dex. Um, and two in endurance. That's fine. Um, I mean, granted, a bit of vitality wouldn't hurt us. But I think we should be able to get by with just that. So let's put that in there. And now, Dark Souls is an interesting game in the sense that it doesn't actually tell you where you sh you need to go. It kind of just gives you free range to figure out where you have to go. Um. So considering that I've already played this game, I have an idea of where to go. <laughs> so let's head on to there. You dick. Alright, yeah, it'll take me a little while to get used to the, um, Uchi Katana's moveset again. Ah, oh, parrying feels so good. But yeah, um, the Uchi Katana swipes are a tad slow, but, like, it, I like the moveset. It's pretty easy to understand. Like, downward swipe, upward swipe, pretty much. And it's actually kind of helpful when you get into narrow quarters, just like this. So that way you don't actually clang your sword against the, um, against the wall. So, if you haven't figured it out by now, we are aiming to get to the other side of this gate. <laughs> yeah, I have Max sitting right next to me. He's, um, trying to say hi to everybody. Say hi, Max. He's playing with his toy. Anyway, Max, you almost got me killed. How could you? Yep. Ah, just feels so good parrying. Now, we are gonna go rest of that bonfire really quickly. I don't really care about killing the trash mob. So we are just gonna run past. Okay, well, that was silly. Just run, 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 run. And there you go, rest of the bonfire. So, if we actually go up here, there is, just after the Taurus Demon, you probably noticed that there's a door um, before we go across the bridge. That's where we're going. We are heading down to the depths. Um, I think that's the depths at least. Anyway, we're heading there. Hopefully the fell... Oh god! Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, how do we get back there? We could run the long way around. Yeah, let's do that. It'll take a little while, add a couple more minutes to our journey, but it's easier than tangling with the, um, the Drake right now. But yeah, we will we'll manage our way across. Isn't open from this side, but yeah, that's one of the ways down. It's a shortcut we will unlock very soon. Jeez, just so much stuff's happening. 
swip swipe. There you go. Yeah, the one of the benefits about playing Dark Souls is just that you've you learn to bend the game to your will. I mean, like you learn, you understand the game's mechanics, and you make them work in your favor. Because, I mean, as much as the enemies hit rather hard, it's still totally possible to, like, take full advantage of their weaknesses. Like, these guys are very susceptible to parrying. And this guy is a little bitch when he gets kicked. See, stuff like that. And that's why I really like Dark Souls, because even though it's a tough, it's, it's a hard game, but it's also very, very rewarding. One, everything when you get the parry just right. So, I think we're gonna be ballers for a bit. For one brief shining moment, we're gonna try to take out this dude. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Let's go bro. You can parry him. That's for sure, I know that. Come on. Let's come back up here, where we have a little bit more room. Come on, bud. Come on. Yeah. Chug. Yeah, we can totally parry him. I've done it before, I swear. I'm not crazy. Come on. Oh gosh. Come on. There we fucking go. Oh my gosh, okay. Fuck you. And fourth time's the charm, right? We did it! Yay! We're not totally crap! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I actually had to focus quite a bit to not be so bad. As you can see, it took a really long freaking time because we burned most of our Estus. Eh. But we got the blue tier stone ring. What this does is, we can just equip it to our ring slot, is it boosts defense when HP is low. Um, a lot of speedrunners like to use the red tier stone ring. Because whenever you take a good amount of damage, and if you actually know the boss's tells, it's very, very easy to dodge a lot of their attacks so that you can take full advantage of the of the ring. And it's interesting, also, because... Um... What was it? Let's just pop humanity right now. It's interesting, because... Um... I... Th think that the damage that's applied in this game, like the, the, the like the damage bonuses you would get from this game, such as from the Red Tear Stone Ring, they actually do apply to magical spells. So you can just get insane damage stacking with like other rings on top of that. So like it's actually kind of really kind of cool. Um, granted, I've never actually done a sorcery build in this game, and I don't necessarily intend on doing so. Um, in Dark Souls 3, I, t I attempted to make a really shitty version of Gandalf. Yep, basement key. So, we're gonna head on down. But, oh yeah, we made a really shitty version of Gandalf. Um, it worked out fine. I didn't get too far into it, though. Bam. Maybe we'll go back to it. I, maybe we'll do, like, a sort of Souls continuation. We're gonna skip over to, obviously, if we actually do end up doing that, because Souls, uh, 
Dark Souls 2 is a really, really bad game. Well, poorly designed game. Moving on. See, we open up that shortcut, and we're going to run back over here, refill on our Estus Flask, and then from there, make on our merry way down to the area. Um... Easy. Sweet. Yeah. When I first started playing this game, I actually really didn't like two-handing. Uh, mostly because I felt like it was really slow attacks. There we go. So, in this area... Oh, sheesh. Oh, that was a little scary. Let's chug a little bit of sippy. There are dogs that come running up the, f the stairwell. And they're kind of annoying. So having like a like a thrust weapon really really helps in this in this part. See, there are the dogs. And they're running! Yeah! Come on. There we go. Let's try a little bit more sippy. And there's one more dog. There he is. Little fucker. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Attack me. Come on. There we go. That was easy. So, the reason why we had to pick up the residence key from the Undead Merchant is because it opens up this door. Please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Maybe if you didn't want around the under, like the, like this area, and like get yourself trapped in the, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, okay, just getting a drink of the coffee. Yeah, we use the residence key. And we can say what's say what's up to this guy. Get really close to him. Hey bud, what's up? Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. It's a wooden fucking door! A sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Buddy, we need to have some real talk. That's just a wooden door. There's a bunch of barrels here. You can just roll through them. And besides, you know sorceries. Didn't you, can't you just summon like a sorcery, f like wave of energy and just blow the shit out of it? Eh. Oh, hello. Whatever. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have... Besides... Okay, you're fine, yeah. Alright, I'm leaving you, man. You big baby. These dudes. Ah! Ah, the fire! Ah, ah. Okay, well, that was some... You dick! Okay, there we go. At least we can one-shot them. <laughs> Sweet. Get dumpstered. Twin humanities. Neato. So, we are going to run down here. And... We should be a little more cautious as uh, how far we go down. Because behind those doors, right there... Um, maybe we can actually switch to the halberd really, really quickly. The gargoyle halberd? Switch to that really, really quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to try our best to strong attack this this wall. 
Bail him out. One second. Trust me, it works. One second. There we go! Okay. We can at least get one hit on the assassins that are behind there. Yeah, I figured. Let's just switch back. And as soon as we walk past a little bit of this area, they'll come break, they'll bust out of that thing. And they'll try to mess with us. There are three assassins in total. And, um. Yeah. They're kind of assholes, if you hadn't noticed. They like to um, use bleeds. Okay. We're managing to get through these guys pretty quickly. Sweet. Alright, little bitch. Right, fuck you. They actually have some pretty decent armor. The black leather armor is very nice, although I think the Wanderer, ha Wanderer set has better stats in general. And the Wanderer set is just very, it's so good. It's like the amount of armor you get for the amount of weight that it has is actually kind of surprising. And it's really, really nice because of its starting, equi starting equipment. Anyway. Down here is, again, more assassins, so we gotta be wary of that. And there they are, and there are dogs. There's a dog! Shit! Alright, run! Run! You dick! No! I refuse! I refuse to die! All right, baby, let's do it. Come on, bitches. Fuck you. And fuck you. Yeah. Just gonna pop another humanity. I know we're burning through these kind of quickly. But whatever. We'll be fine. Um, there is, I think, a third assassin down there. Uh, there could have just been two. I have no idea. But I know there's a second dog, and the second dog's a fucking asshole. Yeah, there he is. Hey, it's up, dog. Oh, you little bitch. Tried to parry me? Fuck you! Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, we managed to kill those fucking assholes. And there it is, the black leather armor. And the target shield. Um... I think we are actually going to swap to the target shield really quickly. It's helpful in the sense that... Um, sorry, let me just switch to it. Target shield. It has a little bit better stats, and it also um, makes landing critical hits when we parry someone a little easier. And also, yeah. There's a pretty good animation going along with it. Behind this fog wall is the... Capper Demon. And he's kind of a, kind of an asshole. It's as long as you're able to kill the dogs that, are, the two dogs that spawn with him, the fight is rather easy. There we go. Fuck you. Sweet. 
Yeah. Um, so we're going back down towards this area. So that way we can pick up... I think that's Bitty Humanity. No. Some some souls. So we're, we're going to use this area to... Use this to go back to that little um, waterway. That connects to Undeadburg. And Firelink Shrine. Yep. And... There's actually a second undead merchant back that area. So, just crack through this part a little bit, and we get to see her. Yeah, let's talk to her. Wow. Okay, well, this lady, she does sell, um, obviously the moss clumps to reduce bleeding, poison, and poison and toxin. Uh, she does sell the charcoal, some charcoal pine resins, which is very, very nice. It allow, like, it just adds fire effect to your, to your weapon. And uh, she just also sells, um, humanity and also, um... Homer Bones, that sort of thing. So, the reason why we actually killed the original Undead Merchant is because this lady is accessible. And she's honestly the overall better seller. Because she also sells fire arrows. And I think she's probably the only merchant in the game who actually does sell those. So, it's good all around. Anyway. So, now that we open this gates, we are back at... Oh, excuse me. We're back at a Firelink Shrine. We probably want to bank some of our souls. And in the next episode, I think we're gonna do we're gonna take on the Capra Demon. Yeah. I think we'll do that. Yep, getting a few extra souls before we go all the way down. Oh, let's talk to him before we leave. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Um, yeah, sure. That sounds cool, bud. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. But one day, he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery, but Master Logan could find no use for me. Oh wow, okay, wreck, bud. Goodbye then. Alright, see ya. Uh, no promises. So, I really, really want to see this. There he is! Fucking Lotric, dick. We'll kill him in the next episode. Because his ring is something that I want. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.